Hey everybody. All right. What I want you to do while you're watching this video is thumbs up, subscribe, like, comment. Um, what else is there? Uh, it's a review channel. So if you need something reviewed, if I can get a hold of it, I'll do the review. And if you want to donate to my channel, ask for my uh, PayPal info. So on to the main reason for this video. A lot of people are really freaking out now. They found out that Firefox just disabled add-ons. Now what they did is they made an announcement months ago letting add-on uh, writers, programmers know that they cannot, uh, that they need to write their code so that they can't hide stuff in there, they can't be tricky or deceptive, and that it is uh, able to be machine read and produced so that people can go in there and look at the code and see what the uh, add-on is doing and most of the companies out there did not do that and so they were just disabled today uh, or in the last couple days and when they're being disabled uh, it, you get a message that says uh, the, the thing was disabled and you try to install it again and it says check your internet connection so it's not your computer it's not you it is Firefox and while it's gonna upset a lot of people in the end it's probably going to make Firefox a much more secure program, uh, yeah, program. I believe Chrome did the same thing earlier in the year. Let me get a sip of water here. So, there is a way around it. It's a temporary way around it. You really should not do it, but I'm going to tell you how to do it in case you want to do it. So, uh, there's only so much I can show you on my computer screen. So, what you need to do, I'm going to go... I'm going to put it in here so you can see what you need to do. You need to type this in the address bar about colon, not semicolon, but colon, config, C-O-N-F-I-G. So that's what you're going to want to do. You're going to want to type about colon config in your address bar. If you did this the right way, typing about colon config c-o-n-f-i-g in the address bar and you hit enter on your keyboard you're going to get this message that comes up unless you've disabled it over time you're going to get a message that says it might void your warranty um, show the warning that's up to you click I accept the risk and this is going to take you into a whole bunch of settings on Firefox so I'm going to click on that now so once you click on it, you get a whole bunch of options, a whole bunch of settings, hundreds if not thousands of settings that you can uh, alter on Firefox. And be really careful altering things. You can completely hose your, um, your Firefox, your browser, and you might not be able to get in again, or you might lose some settings or data. So now at the very top is a box that says Search. In that box, get your cursor and type in XP install. <clears throat> For those of you that don't know how to spell that, that would be XP I N S T A L L. And you are going to get four options there. The third one being XP install XP dot signatures dot required. That's what you're looking for, xp.signature, signatures.required. And if we look over to the right, the third one down, <clears throat> we see default, boolean, and true. Now, I am not recommending that you do this to your computer. What this will allow is it will allow you to install add-ons that they do not allow. I don't know if this is going to even allow the download or the install, but when it's set to true, you cannot install these because it needs the signature. It needs the Firefox signature to install. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on true. I'm going to double click on this, and I just changed it to false. You see, before it was default and it was true, now it's modified and false. There's nothing else you need to do. You don't have to save anything. All you have to do is close out your, um, you close out your about config box and then you should be able to 
install your add-ons. Now I'm going to try this and see if it allows me to install the add-ons. I'm going to try, I'm going to close my browser and then open it again and see if my add-ons show up again. But as of now, almost everybody out there in internet land is really upset because all of their Grease Monkey and uBlock and Ad Blocker, all that stuff went away overnight and people are not happy. So I hope this video helped you. All right, people, <clears throat> the XP install dot signatures dot require that I just changed to false. I'm going to double click that again and change it back to true. And the reason is that Firefox has completely stopped the downloading of all of these add-ons that they do not approve. So it has nothing to do with signature anymore. They, you can't even download it. You cannot run it on Firefox completely disabled and that's just the way it is so uh, I hope I thought this video was going to help everybody but maybe it's going to help you to know that there is absolutely nothing you can do uh, because they're blocking the ad blocker I love Firefox I do not like Chrome I do not use Internet Explorer so leave your comments everybody I want you to leave comments don't leave swearing don't leave insults don't cuss I'll block it I'll report it but uh, let's have a good conversation about uh, Firefox and what they're doing. Obviously, they're doing it for our protection, but sometimes you want to whip, pull that protection off of you and just dive in. Peace out, homies.